G'day guys, it's Jara here, and welcome to today's video. I feel like I had to have a sombre intro today because of this very, like, sombre music. Boom, 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 boom. So today we are playing Her Story. I know nothing about this, and I mean absolutely nothing other than it looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of Life is Strange from the photos I've seen. So let's have a little bit of a gander. And let's start her story. It almost looks horror-ish. Horror-esque in a way. So I'm back to recording videos, which is an odd feeling. Ooh, we got an old timey. You are logged in. Search terms murder. Logic database. So this is like some FBI type of database. Play. Play? I think it's murder. Ooh. Clearly it's murder. Hello. What can I do to help? Why are you not looking at me? She did not look at the camera the entire time, which is a bit odd. Yeah. That's me. But, February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Okay, interesting. Wait, I'm just going to check the f date. Okay. So the first date was the 27th of the 6th. So that was June. Now we're in July. So this is... Wait. July. That's July the 3rd. This is July 1st. Okay, so... Sorry. Next one's July the 3rd. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Hmm. This is also July 3rd. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Oh yeah, every guilty person says that. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Uh-huh. Just that. Story. Okay. Murder four. Okay, well, I've. It says read me. Introduction to the. Okay, um. The service contains footage of homicide serial crime tapes. It has been automatically sorted at AR. To achieve a clip, type in the word robbery into the search bar, click search. Okay, so maybe Rob Bury? That's not how you spell. That's another thing you guys want. I suck at spelling, don't we all? R O B B E R Y. Thought so. R B E E R Y. So nothing's come up. Hey, here's a database I filled. A freedom of information form to get your guest access. Everything seems to work. The transfer of the videos of the original tapes in 1999 and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective footage on possibly the tam. Those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 1997. But I figured this would be enough. Take your time. Hack or mirror game. Wait, that says something. I can't read. Hold on. G R O C Gro G R O C E G R O C E G R O C E H Gak. It has hashtag Gak. And then H. A C K. I'm gonna try. No, mirror game. One of your mums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunchtime games. Crack with class. 
What? I have no idea what I'm doing if you clearly couldn't tell. Um. I also have no idea how to play this game, so there's that too. Okay, I. Um, what else? There's a DB checker. Refresh. Clock. Okay. So only murder is the only one that's coming up with anything. Anti glare field. Whoa. Oh my god, so much better. Video subtitles. I have no idea what to do. Add to session. I'm just going to add all these to session. How do I. Hmm. You think play him bad? again. I mean, clearly it's murder. Clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So you offer your help and then. Queen? Hold on, okay, so that's the ending. I am so confused. Okay, I... Just, hold on. This database contains footage, blah, blah, blah. To retrieve a clip, type in word robbery into the search field, click search, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses the word. To narrow the search, use multiple words, e.g. robber, supermarket, if you're working with... Yes, I was there. Hmm, okay. Robbery murder? Nothing comes up. Why am I confused? This is weird. I don't know what I'm doing. I've, this is really me. I'm gonna put in 97. I'm just putting in any clues I see now. 1999. Hashtag Yak. I'm just gonna keep playing and see if anything happens or Clearly you guys can tell I've played this game before. I'm just gonna keep crest I'm just gonna fill up the entire board, that's kinda of my plan. Cause like I said, I have never played this game before. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. So that didn't do anything. Huh? I can put stuff into the rubbish bin. But what's the point in that? Does that change anything now? I am very confused. I'm just gonna rewatch them. Yeah, that's me. But February, that was month. February. So Maybe put in February. Okay, let's try Simon's murder. Simon. Oh, here we go. Simon. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Hey, Simon Smith. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature okay. artistic things. 
with beautiful things. Okay, I'm going to add that to session because the name is probably something we're going to need to use. Um, Salmon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, <laughs> is that a spring photo? You are nervous. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Can I see the photo? No? Oh, okay. It's the rock. It's more interesting. The rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regular okay. stuff that someone likes to drink with. And the bar meet they're having sometimes. Drinking. Okay. Good. Said Helen. And had a few drinks. Peter, Helen. That's going to be helpful. Yes. There's an abstract one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes pays. I love games. being a detective. Yeah. And uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. Okay, so he wanted to be a, someone who saves people. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. I don't Simon believe that, but sure. Well, he's murdered. So this is before that. So you're trying to find him. Interesting. What was up? Simon. Simon Smith. Simon Smith. Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernst Brothers Glass. I want to put that in. Ernst. Ernst. Glass. Okay, so I just came up with the same one. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. I'm gonna try that. Okay, cool. There's more. Okay. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. Okay. He left. As it happens. And Saturday sure. He didn't come back. He waited all day. He was supposed mm -hmm. to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. He had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. Okay. I checked at the Rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still so he disappeared Friday night. He isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So how how do you know sleep. Simon? I'm confused. Okay, interesting. Oh god, I don't know. I mean, I guess the rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen You're interviewed a lot. I don't know. Okay. So many things could have gone wrong. Because that was not helpful. No. Um, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come been in where? three, four weeks ago. Someone sang with you from the rock. Okay. Plumber? I am confused. I want to just put in... I want to try O1 slash... I just want to see if this actually brings up anything or not. No. So all the clues are in the actual physical videos. So murder, robber, Ernst's brother. I brought up that one. Six month entry is found. Access limited to the first five. Hold on. I want to find the rest. <laughs> Excuse me. That's rude. So that's the only one where she says his full name. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Okay. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy. But I could tell she was thinking Who's what happened to, happen to her and Simon. They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? What? I'm so confused. Her. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. Vague clues help men. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let cool. her. Cool. What? <laughs> How do you get all of that from a picture of someone looking at her window? It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Not really, but okay. Witch takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the What does this have to do with? And Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws him into the wilderness and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him. Very true. It's a happy ending. Is that too much? Which part? The happy ending or the part where you... It's a happy ending. I'm so confused. She's crying, I guess. She's Rapunzel, I'm assuming. Was she thought she saw her husband with another woman. Never mind. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. Oh, yeah, easily mistaken. You know, husbands, brothers, they look the same. Unless they're twins. I don't understand how people get them confused, but sure. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Are these like the ink um, the drop things that psychologists give you? She did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. How or do you know this? Maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. Is she Not a wannabe scared. detective? I'm very Not confused. Guilty. Maybe it was mistaken. That's what a good serial. Did they catch her? Though? Apparently you know a lot of things by looking at a picture. Hey. I hoover my dust every week. Maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week. But every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. Eleanor. I mean, when I was there she was hoovering every day. And it ran in all details. Eleanor. House. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Hmm. I need to get that name. She has secret that name of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. Doug. When I was there, I saw Doug her. is easier to remember. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books. She says vases, cigarettes thank the inside. Lord. It's not vases, she still it's has vases. Them. And last time I was there, I looked at a vase. There was a fresh pack. I mean, all those years mm -hmm. of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. It's not that big of a secret. Maybe he knows, but he just doesn't like it. Just 37 entries. Okay, so I'm going to write in Doug. Does that bring up any more? <gasps> yes, it does. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. They're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Is that the parents? I can't remember. That seven seconds showed me a lot. I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter. Oh, how cute. Just don't poison the kids. It's a fair point, it's a fair point. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. Never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. 
pressure from who? That's a good question. Pressure okay. from who? I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up. All right, the pressure door. next. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I'm assuming you live there. Because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually. If his stuff's not there, then he's not there. And read his paper. But he wasn't there. Same. Touched the kettle. It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. Pressure and kettle. I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him. All right, so pressure and kettle. Clear. He wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. Probably just a ransom call, so but I you know. I the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was. That doesn't make happened. sense. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Vaganella now. And then I decided to come and see you. Uh, That's contradictory from what you said before, but okay. Pressure and. 1984. It was an awful year in the end. We were living in the house. Pressure, kettle, 84. I lost the baby at the end of spring. Pressure, kettle, and. In the summer. Oh, jeez. It was a hot summer. Damn, sorry. So, So like what, 25? I discovered the bodies, it was just. Awful. Because I'm sorry of the for circumstances, your loss. them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police, a forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. It's just the pressure. You seem very odd in that. I don't know. She seemed odd in that to me. Okay, I'm gonna try Kessel. Hello. Why do you seem different? It just looks. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the We've house. We've seen I this. The door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag. Unlocked the door. The main lock was on. Why was this I saying I hadn't seen it when I had? When I tried to turn it to the left, I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. The shoe rack. I didn't see the shoes um, in the shoe rack. I out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. I touched the kettle. There. It was I cold. I touched the kettle. Um, it was cold. I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him there. because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the there's a lot of glitching man, happening. It was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. That's I new. Out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. Different. That enough? That's two different things. Same context, but that in that. Yes, yeah, so those two are interesting. I also have no idea what like the task is to do in this. So, um, like I don't know if I'm going to solve murder or anything. Like this is just here. Oh, okay. He was wearing um, a shirt, a blue neck shirt, and jeans. He has a watch. What colour jeans? Really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm. Damn, okay. A nice coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. Okay, cool. Interesting. Play this. He would go to the pub 
he had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Okay, Sometimes cool. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come in for dinner. That would be us returning the favour. Diane is a of really what? good cook into her trendy ingredients. And the last that was a time bit of a, mm-hmm. someone cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe off seed facts. And I did my Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. What? I had to find okay. food from the supermarket. Have you ever mm-hmm. eaten fennel? Yeah, I don't like fennel. Have you ever eaten fennel? So that's two achievements. Diane. Oh, we got some more. Okay. Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spent a lot of time with each other. Okay. Especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? No. Diana it's also really odd. Nice. She helps out with the glaziers. I don't know. Organizes the Christmas party, that sort of thing. It's they Diane, isn't it? Really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Hold on, is that a bruise right there? I should replay that. Really There's a bruise nice. right the there. Glaziers. I just noticed that. Sorry. This is some. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. What? It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. I'm sorry. It was a wedding anniversary gift. So why is your husband wearing it if the other wife picked it out? Does that not sound weird to anyone? Where is she holding it? Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. They get on so well. Why are you holding a guitar? Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. So working guitar is next to search up. You should ask Diane. Okay, so work. Oh, yay! We got a couple. Cool. My name is Hannah. H A N N A. Hannah. It's Andre. Yeah. We use the same backwards as forwards. And backwards as the words. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, we get the idea. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're nervous. Cool. Hannah Smith. I live at thirty-one Gladstone Street. Okay, so you're married to Simon. No, we've seen that one. The mobile phone? Yeah. Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. It's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. So he doesn't have a mobile phone on him? Yes, there's a car that we share, a Cavalier, and a van he uses. Nice. For work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked in the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Hmm, I can't remember the other thing I said I was going to search up, but... Next to the van. He hasn't been acting odd. Oh, guitar. He's been busy at work, but nothing too stressful. Okay, none of this is really helping me. Guitar. That's not how you spell guitar. I suck at spelling. As all of you know, I can never spell words. I'm gonna do the most millennial thing I think I've ever done in my entire life and ask Suri how to spell something, which is pathetic, but that is the current life I live. Wants to, re- wants to respond to me. Guitar. I do this all the time at school. I don't use Siri. I actually have an app where I can speak and it helps me to write. So it's sort of like a Siri, but not really either. G I T A R. I T A R. Thank you. Okay, so we got some more. Hello. 
No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. Okay, so guitar and then the... I can't remember the yes. other one. Ah, hate my memory. That's yeah, my guitar. Cool. Okay, this is a long clip. You want me to play something? I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Probably need some tuning. No. Yeah, it's okay. So she's right handed. You can tell she's right handed because the way she's holding the guitar. Guitar that I tune and it's hurting my ears. It's that top chord, I think. Oh. Again, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. That sounds like murder. Now it goes really weird. That entire thing was weird. Um, I want to write the bruise because I want to know where she got that bruise from. Now that I think about it, here we go. All right. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen, and the chair slipped, and I kind of hit the door with my face. We had like hell. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why is that not believable? Mm, just the way she did that, that whole like... Bruise. I have a really fast metabolism. She's not one? Stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policeman. Who hit you? Body. Sorry. I... What body? Huh? Oh, you find Simon's body. That's a bit of an awkward situation. If one of us got hurt, the other one would have to be hurt too. A grazed knee. What? A no. Bruise. When I lost my tooth first, we had to pull our harness to match. How? Once, I slept with a boy who was seeing another girl. The girlfriend came up to Hannah the next day and punched her in the face. Gave her a huge black eye. I'm searching up Hannah that next. Night, she had to do the same to me. And she almost went too far. I couldn't see out of that eye for days. She snuck a frozen piece up for me from the kitchen. Is Hannah your sister? So much of our bodies were synchronized anyway. We started our period on the same day. Well, Still! Pieces, stomach bugs, nits. I 
That still seems very weird. Hannah is definitely next to be searched upon. She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. Carl and Eve. And she had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after a night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. Okay. Some excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's what? Different to a bruise, putting a tooth, a graze. Huh? We used a hairbrush. After that, we took an And did what? Video. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. I'm so confused. How do you lose your virginity to a hairbrush? This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious. Asking so about Hannah next. Angry. The kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing she tore it off. Eventually, okay. tired of fighting and I left. Um, sure. I'm writing Hannah. Hold on. Yeah. Is that a tattoo? That's me. But I can't see the glasses in the way. February, and that was months ago. That looks like a tattoo. I'm searching tattoo after. Okay, so nothing came up for Hannah. I saw a tattoo, right? Yes, okay, cool, tattoo. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has I'm a scar him, down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here, though. He takes them off with the camera. Mm -hmm. But he needs them to see properly, you know. He has to read. Makes a sense. Or a menu in a restaurant. Not books so much. Or cool. Or TV. Well, he's not needing for books, but he does for menus. It's kind of the same thing, except one's thicker. Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. What? How does that make sense? Um, apple snake, I'm doing that next. So I moved out. Got a small bed set. Got my I know these are all out of order, day. but I'm just trying to... I was singing in a bar in the yeah. house. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. And I've been doing cool. something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. What? That, okay, this is weird. He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. Okay, apple and snake sure and drink is next. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who you he drink was. a lot. Obviously, I knew who he was, but he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome. Well, that would impress me. How would you guess Hannah from Apple I and Snake? To him. How the He's hell do you guess that? To be able to sit and interact and talk Eve. to him after all this time. 
Isn't your name Hannah? Not sure what it was thinking. But Eve makes sense with the whole apple and snake thing. Shut up, Fern. Okay, I am searching up Eve next because that would make sense with the whole Adam and Eve story and the Hannah's apple and well, my friend Eve. Which was a fight for when I was a kid. You, no. Which was always more popular with the boys and I used to hate her for it. I mean we really hate her sometimes. Sure. I don't believe you, but okay, I feel like it's you. Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. I'm pretty sure you're Eve, but okay. I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. Yeah, now nah, she killed Salmon. But that was it. It was just a moment. Mm -hmm. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. Are you Eve or. I am so. Hold on. A police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into nice. the store bus and have him take us with him. <laughs> Taxi driver, we How naive. To drop us off. I mean, we'd save money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they sure. came, picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. Um, I don't think that's your friend. I'm really thinking it's you, but okay. Weird. That's a good question. Is Eve your friend or you? That's Morse code. What? What are you doing talking about Eve? What was that Morse code? I'm writing Morse code next. My mother called me Eve. Yeah. Okay, so if you're Eve, why do you keep saying frame? Morse code. Okay, I'm gonna try maybe sisters? Yeah, it seemed to have a sister. Uh, what we home, said, Eve. Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Sam about me. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me okay. to be them this sister you didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. Drink I want to talk about as well, because she seems to have drink in some but not in others. She sent him out the oh, house. Oh, the computer went out. out. Called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called my sister on the phone. She never okay. Do you have a sister? Like, are you blood-wise sister? I'm confused. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. 
Okay, maybe you don't have a sister. Maybe do you have a twin? Okay, that's sparking some things. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? That would explain a lot. Are you out of your mind? Twins. Yes, I really am at this stage. I honestly got to think I have gone crazy. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away Okay, so she needed one baby. Anything but a happy occasion. Florence. Well, all the princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Okay, Magical. this is coming back to we the whole princesses. princesses story. We had a Rapunzel. Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to mm -hmm. put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. Later, I mean, don't blame me. Life went so bad. We felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Her death would have really annoyed you guys. Um. I mean, I go by murder. If I can spell, Jesus. No. I think what else could I write? Damn. Diana. Oh, okay, here's one. Yeah. We were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid Okay, I'm assuming it's. He's an only child, so it was important to them. Whose wedding? It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. Okay. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train Aww. wasn't quite as long though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. As all good bridesmaids should do. Okay. I'm gonna write... Pregnancy... Or... I'm trying to think of what comes with pregnancy. Morning sickness? Would be yes, one. I'm fine. No, I'm sick again. This happened some days. Pregnant? pregnant. This morning sickness. So, loss of baby, I want to write next. I really. I don't know if I'm just going around, bend, or if I'm not doing this right. Um, I wonder if they put it to a lie detector. Lie? Oh, lie works apparently. It was a week or so ago. Okay. It would have been the Saturday before sure. my birthday. Okay, so that's weird. Let's try this one now. Yes. I'll take a lie detector test. Ooh. I always wanted to take one, they look interesting. Let's try this one. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? Is that a lie? My name. Yes, your name. <laughs> your lie detector works. Okay, so the only question you failed is your name. So your name... Okay... So you're not Hannah. You're not Eve. Or you're either one, depending on which one you said. So... Question... Here we go. Have I ever cheated on Simon? You asked that question yesterday. Answer it today then. Sorry, wrong one. This is the third day running you've called me in. I speak to Doug and Eleanor every day. 
And they say, have you been asking a lot of questions about me? Why are you Should mixing a cup of just, like, Am it's I not even a liquid, you can hear it. You can hear the noise. I know you murdered him. You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I thought about. My husband is dead. <sighs> Hmm, I'm trying to think what else can I write? I don't know anymore. Husband. Okay, here are some new ones, I guess. I'm beginning to work. I've been... I mean, I guess I've just been waiting. After these, I'm going to stop, because there's just nothing. my husband. When you suspect someone of murdering their husband. It's always a wife. You always suspect the wife or the partner. Not it may sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just I wanted to keep it simple. It's really not. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, Glasgow. distract you from what was important. I ran Glasgow next, actually. It's different now. Why? Because he's dead now? It makes a difference? You should be honest with the police always. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with you, what happened you, to Simon. You kind of so have to when Oxford, it comes to the police asking you questions. expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Okay, Glasgow and Oxford. Glasgow. Is that how you spell it? I'm really bad at spelling. I'm pretty sure I tried. Husband. It was this one, I think. Um, keep it simple. G L A S. It's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Sorry. G L A S. Go. Let's go. Hey, here we go. We got some more. And I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going. Just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally I don't blame stopped, you. I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. I just fell asleep. Okay, interesting. Yes. I'll um, give you my review at the end of who, what I think happened. Ago, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried to call mm -hmm. pay for and then... Well, you don't have a mobile on you? That seems sus for yeah, sure. I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. I don't remember the other thing I was going to search up. It was Glasgow and when I Oxford. In Glasgow, Oxford? Oxford. I was exhausted. Oxhead. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. Okay. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. You looked at your stomach. Which, I mean, is normal. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's just... An odd detail. Okay, watch that. And then I watched... Oh, it's the hospital. Well, we're okay. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We've spoken with the hospital. I'm really pushing for the hospital. Oh. So what it was? Yeah. Okay. There was a conference. Sorry. 
something to do with double glazing in Oxford? Double glazing? I, I'm assuming that's to do with his work because I have no idea what they're talking about, but sure. Are you sure? What would he be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? Exactly. I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. And that doesn't sound odd? None of this sounds odd to you, lady? Ah, sorry, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Okay, yeah, drink is Not it? Us. I mean, he drinks. I haven't seen much. this. Why is he giving me that? He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, mm -hmm. but nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. Sure. Okay, I'm not going to search anymore. What I've gathered from this is that she killed her husband. I'm going to assume it was cheating in Oxford. Um, and then she kind of went to Glasgow, or the Glasgow is a cover-up. Eve is actually her. I think Hannah... I don't know who Hannah is. I think Eve is actually the real person, or Hannah and Eve are the same person. The baby obviously got killed, or she had a miscarriage of some description. And... I don't know how she killed him, but... That's just what I'm going to leave it as. Because I... I honestly cannot be bothered searching anymore. I've done a lot of research into this, like, as you can clearly tell. But yeah, it's, it, it, this is a fascinating story behind it. I just feel like maybe there should have been, like, notes around to give you clues instead of having to, like, kind of go through multiple videos, finding one random word which will connect you to three other videos, which then will... I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong. I think it's a very smart idea. Probably what happens when you have a database, but... For game's sake, I feel like either there should be less videos or it should be one video per section. So it's easier to kind of focus on instead of having like two seconds, ten second videos where it's just kind of a bit jumbled. That's just my opinion anyway. But let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think. Um, if you like this, it's just called Her Story. I got it off of Steam a while ago. So yeah. Anyway, Detective Jar out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Yeah, Detective Jar has officially.